for something special. I have guests. And we're all together. And we're on a nice camera here on Kizzy Unfiltered because we're unfiltered. So there's nothing to hold back. So today, in addition to this beauty right here, you get Steph Tavares, Dr. Steph. You get Ms. Lori Davis. Hello. And I'm going to allow Ms. Steph to kind of kick things off as far as what we're going to talk about. Because I know you're intrigued because you get three of us today. It's feeling very abundant. Yes. <laughs> so um, today's topic is, well, I was just thinking about it because I really was thinking about how I was feeling today. Mm -hmm. And I really feel abundant in all aspects. I really feel that being abundant is relative. And a lot of people think of it as just being abundant with money. Mm -hmm. But like, I'm feeling an abundant mindset with my you know family and friends like there's just i the love the abundancy of love like i'm just feeling all the feels um <laughs> so yeah so that is really a, a topic that i wanted to talk about because it is relative so you know i really want to know from you guys like what is abundance abundancy for you and you know what makes your life abundant yeah i think for me it's family it's friends um, blessings. I feel blessed every day. So I feel an abundance of blessings daily. Um, I think uh, my work, there's an abundance of work. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. Hey. There's an abundance of work, but I love what I do. I love the team that I work with. And so, um, you know, being able to just wake up and do the things that you want to do and receive the blessings that you receive every day to be able to share your day with people literally that you love mm -hmm. and admire and respect um, really just is it overflows in my heart every day. So for me, that's that's what abundance is. It's um, it's the love, the friendship the blessings. I keep saying blessings. And if you notice, Steph had said before we started, you know, or no, at the beginning that people always think um, an abundance of money and money is important for me. Of course, you have to pay your bills. You have to do your thing. But that's when I think about abundance, that's not what I think about. Um, and so I feel, I feel an abundance of, of, of gratitude also. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, just being able to be where I am today, where I'll be tomorrow, where I've been in the past. I just think you have to always just have gratitude in your life and know that you're blessed, whatever it is that you're doing. Even when things are bad, you know that they're going to get better because the things that are bad and that, that you think about and that you get through will be someone else's guide mm. to even get better. So that's story. Preach, girl. Preach. Yeah. Preach. <laughs> well, I mean, but this is what you get on Kizzy Unfiltered. I mean, yeah. you get nice unfiltered conversation. You get things that maybe you're thinking in your head, because I know you're probably thinking some of these things. Because how can you have abundance without gratitude? Mm -hmm. So what happens if you don't have gratitude, but yet there's abundance? I feel like you can't see it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, because sometimes also, also abundancy, I feel like it's not everything that you want. It's sometimes the things that you need. So if you're like so focused on all the things that you, you know, want in life, but you have all this abundancy when it comes to all these needs. And I mean, being grateful for having clean water, right? Like basics, having a home, a shelter, you know, even like having a car, shoes, like these things, like when you start from like, the bottom, the foundation of abundancy, I feel like then you can really grow. Mm -hmm. And gratitude, it really starts with gratitude and being thankful for the where you are, you know, presently. Definitely. Because without it, then you're you're chasing. Yeah. You know, like I know there was a time, there's been many times where <laughs> I didn't really have that gratitude for what I had because I was too busy looking in the rear view mirror of what I lacked. Right. So I was too busy focusing on the lack and not focusing on, well, let me appreciate what I have and figure out, is this even what I really want? Although it's abundant. Right. Right. That's a good point. Exactly. That's a good, good point because 
as Steph said, or no, Kizzy just said, sorry, you have to be grateful in order to receive. I mean, that just makes sense. You can have everything that you want, but if you're not grateful for what you have, you're going to be unhappy. Mm -hmm. I, that's just how I feel about that. I think that gratitude, honestly, is everything. You have to always be grateful. Be grateful that you wake up and take a breath. Yes. Be grateful that you have a job. I know that when, when the pandemic started, everyone's panicked. Oh my gosh, what, what are we going to do? You know, companies were shutting down. People were getting laid off. Things were closing. Our company never closed. Every single person on the team stayed on because mm -hmm. Kizzy made that. Kizzy, I'm going to say bless everybody in making sure yeah. that we mm -hmm. all Absolutely. had jobs. We all, she didn't say you all, I'll keep you on, just work part-time. We were working. We were full-time. We made sure through the entire pandemic, even, mm, talk about abundance. Oh even exactly, even you all, when some of our contracts were put on stop work orders, we still continued to work. And so those are the type of blessings that you have to look at it and say, wow, I'm grateful. I'm grateful mm -hmm. for you. I'm grateful that we were able to continue to work. I'm telling you, gratitude, y'all, means what? everything. And I think there's another, I, I was just thinking of gratitude starts with a G. So I was thinking of another G word that I think is a secret sauce to abundance. Mm -hmm. And that's giving. Mm. Right. So, it's that whole idea of, you know, in order to receive, you have to give. Right. And I really feel like that's how, absolutely yeah. true. That's why people always talk about paying it forward. Yep. You know, if 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 I win a hundred dollars on a scratch ticket, I'm giving some homeless guy a hot dog. Oh, like, <laughs> it really is. Or, or a, a Right, is huge. Like, because <laughs> that's the biggest important. homeless advocate, which I love. It's it's important because when you give, like you said, and you pay it forward, it comes back mm -hmm. in abundance. In what? A, yes, it's mm -hmm. literally like that is yeah. true. It's literally like it's true. comes right back to you, like a boomerang. It does. <laughs> you have to always. You have to just have that kind of heart. And mm -hmm. when you when you have a heart, another G word, a greedy heart. Ooh. Oh. You can't, you can't do that because when you're greedy, not only will we end up seeing you on American Greed, <laughs> we will, but, and we will be watching, and we will be watching. Yes, but you just you can't move forward with your blessings when you are greedy. Right? You have to give. That's a great word, Steph. You have to be grateful for what you have, and you have to give, and Absolutely. not be greedy. But that's a, those are good G words. Yeah, those, I think we just we're coming up really with the secret sauce of, of you know being abundant. Yeah, mm -hmm. and this is not necessarily the G word, but I feel that not like fearing like life mm -hmm. and things is a huge like walking in faith. Yes, essentially, yes. and yes. in your purpose is also I think a part. If we're gonna you know make, mixing the pot of abundance here is not fearing that and walking in faith and knowing that you're always gonna be okay because of the person that you are. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, that like if you're a giver, if you're a nice person, karma will just come back to you. And I re I'm really, I'm a strong believer of my faith and knowing that everything is always going to work out. That's funny because mm -hmm. Kizzy and I literally had that conversation today about not being fearful. Don't mm -hmm. raise your children to be fearful. Yes. Yeah. Don't, don't be fearful in the things that you do in your life, because everyone needs to just step out on faith yeah. and know that things are going to be okay. If you step out and it doesn't work out the way that you wanted it to, that at least you tried. Yes. That's what's important. At least you tried and you didn't, the fear didn't hold you back. So that's really, that's really good. Well, I have a, like a quick question for you guys. Like, how do you deal with fear? Like what, what strategy or, you know, what is something that you do to just like overcome it and say, nope, I'm not letting fear, you know, walk with me today. It's sitting in the backseat. You know, it depends. Uh, sometimes it's a lot of chocolate. <laughs> it used to be a lot of alcohol. But those who listen to Kizzy Unfiltered, you know, you heard my alcohol journey a few episodes ago. And so it used to be alcohol. Then it changed to lots of chocolate and sugar. Then <laughs> after the chocolate and sugar wears off, it's like, okay, so sometimes it's prayer. Mm -hmm. Sometimes 
it's just self-talk where I'm like, what, what am I doing? Yeah. It's yes. like, what, what am I doing? Uh, what has recently been really helpful because, you know, alcohol clearly didn't work. Chocolate, I'm not going to be able to get my clothes. We can't keep doing that. Yeah. Uh, and then Dr. Schaefer will get at me. Uh, she's my <laughs> my private doctor there. She will be really upset. Uh, prayer always works because it at least calms me. Mm-hmm. But what I've really found that helps with all of this is being able to see others who are where I want to be and then learning about their journey. Because so often, right, you see you're not alone. And then, and it's easy to see the headline of right. their life, right? To see their Instagram yeah. or right. LinkedIn or TikTok right. or what they have. Roses. Right, everything is roses and mm-hmm. amazing. And then learning about the trials and tribulations. I love that. And I also have taken a lot throughout the years from different autobiographies. Mm -hmm. Like I love the cupcake Brown book. If any of y'all are into reading, you should definitely read that. It's so inspirational. Uh, My brother, Steven put me on to that book. So just we read that a year, a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. Remember? Yeah. It wasn't a book club. A book club. I think Steven, her brother, mm-hmm. brought, oh, he turned her on to it, and, and then I saw her on like Oprah mm-hmm. or something like that. She she went through it, and she came out shining on the other side. She ended up being a successful she lawyer, she's an attorney, yeah. right? And so we often see that is we see that end result, but we don't know what they went through, right. which then can sometimes feed into lack of appreciating what we have. And that self-talk that mm-hmm. you were talking about. Like, because I was thinking, like, you know, seeing someone else's journey, but also having sound boards, like mm-hmm. sounding boards. Yes. Someone to tell you, like, you're doing too much. Like, your thought is all the way up here. <laughs> you need to come down a couple notches because you're acting up, you yeah. know? And I think that it's so important because you really can just get into your own head and be your worst critic. Yeah. I like the self-talk talk, though. And yeah. also, for me, meditation helps oh, yes. a lot I think that when I start to feel stressed and I'm, I'm just always like all right back in a little bit going to meditate <laughs> because you know and during meditation you know before during after is when I can also have that conversation with myself for me it really is helpful to talk out loud right. it sounds a little bipolar but it's you yeah, know, yeah you have even to in do your that. head exactly oh my gosh it's and then there job. are people that I know that I can you know, mm-hmm. bounce it off of also, but really meditation helps a lot. So there's this and prayer. Yep. Mm-hmm. There's this like really cool thing that I learned. I'm just trying to like vibe bounce off of you. It's called the trap door. It's a metaphor mm-hmm. that you uh, that is used in meditation and like you know how I'm into sound goals now. It really helps like um open the trap door. But essentially when we hear things, right, we go into this fight or flight kind mm-hmm. of you know a way of thinking. And when you meditate or you, when or sound or something that kind of takes your attention away from that fight or flight, that trap door has an opportunity to open. But mm-hmm. being aware that you are in that trap space is so important, mm-hmm. you know, so that you can you know open the door. So like meditation, prayer, yeah. uh, even sound bowls or just uh, something that calms the mind mm-hmm. is really good to open that trap door. It kind of like disrupts that. That, um, pattern of thinking mm-hmm. so yeah it's important to like try and stop it as soon as possible right so Before you don't go you get crazy with it. right so easy to be in it though like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's super hard like something else i've done is i have a coach who's amazing and so we use the app boxer if any of y'all are into that What's app that? it's really cool and this is not sponsored by them Okay, here on Kizzy Unfiltered, don't forget to subscribe. You want to share, you want to comment. <laughs> don't forget all that stuff. Share, share, share. But we're not sponsored by this, by Boxer. It's an app where you can leave voice notes and it kind of in a way walk, works like a walkie-talkie. Oh, wow. You can also share links. I think you can share files. And so what's nice is you're not, it's not like on your WhatsApp or in your chat or anything it's its own app so you kind of keep the conversation contained over here and a lot of professionals especially coaches will incorporate boxer 
into their program offerings. Right. So then I'll leave a note and then he'll reply back with the note. And he always says, you know, if you're ever going through something or you need to just talk it out, as you said, you want to talk it, you want to say it, you want to, right. I do that with you. Yeah. And you do that right. rather than wait until your next appointment, right. you have the opportunity to That's say, so cool. all right, I'm going through something, you know, yep. I really don't want to wait until Friday. So here it is. And then the fact that he responds is even better. Yeah. That, that they just respond immediately. I right. love that. And it is great too, because since it's, kind of taken on this more like professional connotation mm -hmm. nobody's like why are you trying to give him a man <laughs> like, <laughs> you know nobody's like why are you texting this person why are you leaving your voice there's no purpose for it's it. like yeah. it's a boxer like even a woman who she helps me with some projects i think she's in india i don't even know where she lives we use boxer okay cool. and so Perfect. it's all over the world so yeah. again I, it's just nice to have that option because otherwise, especially the fact that I live alone, there's really no one else to share. And I don't want to always share with other with people because right. mm -hmm. I don't want right. that judgment. Right. Yes. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Because judgment does happen. Exactly. Mm -hmm. and absolutely. Yeah. So I have actually one quick thing that I was um, talking to, I think we Kizzy about um, yesterday. And it's something that's been sticking with me and I, I want to share it with everyone because uh, it has to do with mm -hmm. abundance and um, knowing that, you know, everyone says like when we talked about the uh, cup being full, mm -hmm. right? And knowing that, you know, ultimately a lot of people say that you, you fill my cup, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and it's really supposed to be that you fill your own cup, right? Mm -hmm. We all are responsible for our abundance and filling our cups. But the magic is when you surround yourself with people who have filled their cups just like you have. And now there's this overflow. Yes, like absolutely. you can't even contain it. It's just all over the place. <laughs> You're like, oh my gosh, we're doing this, we're doing that. And everyone's just adding to the pot. And it just feels like, you know, you're in this like accelerated, I don't know, yeah. Playground, like yes, <laughs> you know, where it, you know, and it's just like it, it feels effortless because sometimes when you're the one who's like trying to be, you know, trying to be the one, it it just it feels, you know, it, it wears on you. So yeah. being around people that have that same abundant mindset and are um and know that they're responsible for their happiness and abundance makes life so much easier, and you know, and it Absolutely. just overflows. So I really wanted to share that with. With everyone that's why it's so important to surround yourself with like-minded right. individuals mm -hmm. I mean, about abundance about gratitude about about you know what you want to do with your life with your career whatever it is it's and and you know i know that there are people out there who may have people in their lives that aren't exactly where they are right now yeah. i'm not saying that you don't need to be with those people or be around those people but just always make sure that you are around people who lift you up and who um, who respect you the way that you should be respected. Mm -hmm. And it's just easy to be around them too. It's easier to be that's around the, people who yeah. who lift you up mm -hmm. than the people who are not doing so great and red flag. They, yep, they have a little <laughs> bit of a problem with where you are and where you're going in your life. Those are the people that will try their hardest to knock you down. Yes. You don't want that. You yeah. always want an abundance of love, respect around you because that that is everything. It's so true because when people, when they're not expressing gratitude, mm -hmm. right? When they aren't living a life or have a view of abundance right. and for us amazing women who mm -hmm. do the only way to really handle somebody who has views like ours is to eat, try to bring them down right. so right. it's try to bring somebody down in a variety of ways and it could be bringing into your life things that they know that aren't good for you right mm -hmm. right it could be gossiping it could be all these other things but it's not adding to your life Right. I mean, there's a reason that I have Lori and Steph here today because they have cups that are overflowing. They've been in my life for a really long time, which is amazing, but 10 years irrelevant 
in my view. It it's about them as women the and their not, not just, just who they are yeah. and just watching them and vice versa. If mm-hmm. I was the same person back in 2013 and 2014, uh, none of this would happen. There would be no Kizzy on Filter that y'all are subscribed to now. I'm telling you that much. It would not be here. <laughs> and so they wouldn't be here. Um, so it's really important to understand that. And I, I posted this uh, like saying yesterday that I came across about like my circle so tight now that it's a dot. And I was like, dang, <laughs> that's so good. Uh, that like that. That's so, so, that's so, so right. right. That's it's, so appropriate. It's so right. Yeah. Like this is how my life is. And I love it. I totally love it. Yes. Yeah. You don't have to have too many people around. No, you you don't at all. Um, you know, we're kind of at this point, which is great because I'm loving that I have you guys here as guests. And y'all have to let me know if, if Lori and, and Steph, Steph and Lori should come back to Kizzy Unfiltered. Uh, we're kind of at, Hello, y'all. Yeah, y'all, we need, to have, we need to do more of this. But we're kind of at this moment of like closing things out. Is there any words you want to share? Do you, if you want people, listeners to connect with you on social media, feel free to share what you may want to share. Because I know, I'm so grateful for the two of you being here with me, being live. I'm just so appreciative of the two of you being in my life because I would not be this person without the two of you. And so just so grateful. And so now the the, the couch is yours. Well, I mean, yeah. So I'm Steph. (laughs) Uh, On Instagram, I am at Steph Styles with a Z. And if you want to talk about abundant mindsets, let's talk. I <laughs> I can't remember what my Instagram is. L Davis sixty three. Dang, no, is that true? Or is it yeah. Low Dave one? Uh, uh, okay, I'll go. <laughs> this is, you know, let this me is just interject. You... This this one got those secret Instagram accounts. No, I don't. Oh, no. Y'all, we all have that one or two that friends and stuff. That, yeah, they, got, stuff? they do. They got you the guys, one account that you, you get, and the other account that right. everybody else do gets. not believe that. <laughs> I. I honestly think it's low Dave one. Yeah. What, what, what? Mm-hmm. I do. I honestly, this. if you, if you go to <laughs> steps, uh, you can find me. Yeah. And or, if you message one you of us, yeah. we'll, we'll definitely yeah. share. It's low Dave one, I think. Low Dave one? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Low Dave one. Yeah. Awesome. She has an abundance of Instagram. Accounts. No, I really don't. <laughs> I really don't. Because I really, I really don't. Don't listen. Listen. Yes. Listen. Yes. 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 I would just say you all keep living your best lives. Yes. Yes. You know, make sure that you subscribe, follow our lady here. Yes. And um, just continue to, to, to be grateful for your blessings and for your life. Yes. It's very important. And love the people that you love, love Mm -hmm. them hard because you never know what tomorrow will bring. That is so true. And I'm so grateful for each and every one of you for listening, for watching, for just engaging. I'm totally so in love with you all and so, so grateful. So feel free to connect with me anytime. I'm on Instagram with my one account. Uh, <laughs> the M part. You get the whole government name on TikTok with the same name, you know, my one TikTok account. But um, jokes aside, I'm so grateful. And thank you again for tuning in to Kizzy Unfiltered. Make sure you like, you subscribe, you follow, you share, you comment. And thank you so much. Bye, everybody. Glutathione is a big word. It's the body's own master antioxidant. It's a scavenger for free radical, bacteria, and viruses. There are no products in the market with the ingredient NASA. NASA increases the production of glutathione that's in our body already to strengthen and enhance our immune system, elevate sense of well-being, support muscle strength and endurance, cognitive function, and liver support. It helps with increased energy and blood sugar regulation. Get your bottle of GSH Plus from www.salvationnutra.com.